Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. This is Matt, and today we work a problem from the Water Resources Breath section of the Civil PE exam. A developer has proposed a double 48-inch reinforced concrete pipe, N equals 0.013, on a 0.3% slope to serve as the outfall for a new subdivision. Find the discharge from this outfall. So to solve this problem, we're going to turn to the PE reference handbook and at the time of this recording, we're using version 1.2 of the reference handbook, and we look specifically at section 6.4.5.1. We're given what's called Manning's equation. And so Manning's equation is going to be what we use to solve this problem. So Manning's equation is given as Q equals 1.486 over N A times A times R subscript H to the 2 thirds times S to the 1 half. So let's take a look at what these variables mean and what we're given in the problem and what we're solving for. So Q is equal to the discharge. And so we're told right away in the problem statement that we're being asked to find the discharge. So that's pretty simple. So we're solving for Q equals 1.486. So that's a constant over N. N is Manning's roughness coefficient. And that's given to us in the problem as 0.013. That's going to be based on the material, too. So a concrete pipe has a Manning's roughness coefficient of 0.013. The area, that means the cross-sectional area of the pipe. So a pipe is circular, unless we're told otherwise. So we're going to find the area of a circle, which is equal to pi r squared. And we're told the pipe is a 48-inch pipe. So... We know that 48 inches is equal to 4 feet, and we want to be working in units of feet with Manning's equation because the discharge is given in cubic feet per second. So 48 foot diameter, excuse me, 48 inch diameter pipe is a 4 foot diameter pipe. It's a 2 foot radius, so radius, uh, area of a circle is pi r squared. So pi times 2 feet and that quantity squared, that's our A value, then the hydraulic radius, and that's equal to the area over the wetted perimeter. So we just said the area is pi times 2 feet squared over the perimeter of the circle, which is 2 pi r, so 2 pi times 2 feet, right, the radius. Close that. Raise that whole quantity to the two-thirds. That's our hydraulic radius, right? The area over the wetted perimeter. And then S is the slope. We're given the slope in the problem statement of 0.3%. We need to convert the slope to a decimal. So that's 0 0.003, and that's raised to the one-half. Don't forget to raise that to the one-half. So that gives us a discharge Q equals 78 point six seven six seven cubic feet per second but we are not done and we need to be careful this is the most important step probably of this problem so if we look in the problem statement one word gives us a very important clue in finding the correct answer and that is this word here a double 48 inch reinforced concrete pipe so what that means is there's going to be the outfall, and you have one pipe, two pipe, double pipe, both coming down, draining the subdivision into some water body, right? So water would come out like that, two pipes. So the discharge value Q we just found of 78.6767 cubic feet per second, that is only for one pipe. So to find the discharge for the double outfall, two pipes, we would take our 78.6767 cubic feet per second and multiply it by two, and that would give us an answer of 157.353 cubic feet per second. And if we look at the answer choices, that is closest to answer choice D. So I hope that helped you, and if you're looking for more practice and review as you study for the Civil PE exam, head on over to civilengineeringacademy.com and check out our 
Ultimate Civil PE Breath and Depth Review courses, but more practice, and we'll see you there.